This is the installation video on how to fit your plate, your Sussex installations, security plate for your Vauxhall Vivaro, your Renault Traffic, your Nissan NV300 uh, or your Fiat Talento vehicle. So what comes in the kit is, as you've seen there, that's our outer shield and it's branded Sussex installation. So if, you're, if you find any similar products on the market after we launch this, because you may well do, make sure that you're buying one that's got the Sussex installations trademarked brand embossed in it because it's a symbol that you've got the internal um, shielding that goes with it, that it's a bolt through the body style product. It's got this bespoke shielding which we've designed and made. And this is to protect the internal latch mechanism inside your vehicle so it comes with a gasket it comes with the kits it comes with the nuts and the bolts the stainless steel ones and it comes with the grommets which you'll need after making the holes through the bodywork Okay, so let's get started. I've got Danny here. He's with me and he's gonna show us how to fit this. Or he's, he's, gonna be my, he's gonna be my hands for this job. So I'm gonna talk you through it and Danny's gonna do the fitting of this today. So bear with him, this is his first one today. So it's gonna be a good challenge for you, Danny. Indeed. Are you ready for the challenge? Of course. Right, ready okay. Let's do it, Danny, let's go. So first up, we're gonna masking tape up the area and that's gonna enable us to mark up with a pen where we're gonna fit this plate. You can go a couple of layers thick with this, even thicker if you want, if you're sort of not confident with a, the drill and you're worried about it snapping, but typically just take it easy with the drill, go slow, take your time, don't push it awkwardly and you'll be just fine. So take the gasket, line it up, make sure you've got it the right way around and you're gonna have the paper side, which is gonna be the sticky side facing outwards. So we'll stick that to the plate, but first we're gonna use it as a template to actually make the holes. Make sure you've got a couple of millimetres, sorry, say three millimetres gap between the swage line of the body and the, and the template and the gasket. So we can probably go just up a little bit higher than that. Yeah, a little bit in, in that's, that's looking pretty good. I'd say you got it spot on there, Danny. So we're gonna make them just slightly bigger than the actual stud holes themselves anyway. So there will be a little bit of room, you know, a couple of millimetres room to manoeuvre. One T30 Torx to take off the, the screw for the handle. And I'll just show you that as I take it off there. You just have to turn that into a, just a funny angle to allow you to pop it off just like, like so. And next is gonna be the removal of the trim. So I said that this is what we use, which is a plastic tool that doesn't scratch the bodywork. But if you don't have one of them, let's like say you could use like a, a, you know, just a screwdriver to get you started. Flat screwdriver and you could put a bit of tape around it if you're worried about bent, uh, just scratching your, your van or your door card. Pop it all around. There's quite a few poppers on this door. And there we go. So that's all the poppers. All the poppers pop. So you're gonna drill the middle of these in these holes which you've made on the outside. These two holes here on the edge, these actually need to go through to the other side also. So we, we need to make another hole on the outside, or well, sorry, on the inside of the vehicle just here, but we wanna make it just dead, dead in the middle. If you follow the drill through straight, hold the drill straight against the bodywork. Yeah, it's good. And you see it come out the other side. That's great. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna drill, uh, we're gonna use a, a 19 mil hole saw. So we actually want this hole to be dead in the center from here to here. So although we've got this hole which is not directly in the center, Danny's now gonna use that for a reference point and he's gonna make a hole exactly, just mark it up exactly in the middle of this panel here and in the middle of this panel here. If you've got the tools, if you've got a, a punch, you can use a punch just to help so it doesn't slide. But we're just doing this with minimal tools available here really. Just to sort of simulate what tools you might have at home if you're, if you're doing this sort of DIY. So then all the way through with the pilot, drill, mind your fingers. Okay. 
Now, these holes actually need to be made out to 19 millimeters now. So what, as you go with a 19 mil drill bit, you might find you're brushing your, your actual drill against the side here. So if you're worried about scratching this with the drill, it might be an idea just to put a couple of layers of masking tape. So we just do that for this video here. So using the pilot hole, the one that's in the center of this, you're gonna use that to hold this from, from wobbling, from walking. So you're using that to adjust it. Just go very slow with this. If you've got different speeds on your drill, you might switch it to the slower speed for doing this. <laughs> Be careful as you drill this. Obviously, once it goes through, you wanna make sure that you don't actually drill through to the outside of the, of the van. One piece, but you do need to go a little bit further. We do need to take this piece out also. However, you're not going all the way through to the outside of this body with this hole. You're just going through that little bit. Are we filming? What did you say, Charlotte? Are you filming? Yes, we are! What can we do for you? Again, we're not going all the way through with those ones, just just drilling out the inner inner skin area here, just to allow us access to do up the, the nuts here. So next step is these outside holes, these need to be drilled out to millimeter now. We've got Danny on the case, this should shouldn't take long at all. It might be safer if you do the outside ones with the door open, just so if you do follow through with the with the eight mil, you're not gonna punch her up against into the rubber area of the van. Okay, perfect. So we've got our holes. Next to do is to take off that masking tape. So the main thing is just to make sure all these little metal filings that are here on the bodywork that they all they all go away. So how, however you do that, whether you're doing it like us with a compressor or whether you're doing it by hand, you know you might be doing it with a with a dustpan and brush. But again, being careful, obviously, not to scratch your van, but with having the metal going up against it. And it can be that once you finish with the job, that you can give the van a good wash. But just look at like the stuff on the bumper. You don't want any of this to be here once you've finished it. We've got a compressor here, so we're going to use it for this job. So next thing is for rust protection. Use a manufacturer's approved rust protection. Um, what we would suggest is if you don't have any better advice, wax oil is a very good product for rust proofing. And you just squirt in where the holes are. So you've got two holes which are accessible from inside the door panel up in here and you've got two holes which are accessible from the access holes which we've made just here. And then of course, importantly is from the outside, most importantly is from the outside. Wax all these holes all around. But wax all is great stuff. I mean, you can put this inside the door, anywhere that's in the door here, you can have a good spray up anywhere where any, any little filings, if you've been unable to blow them all out, then you can have a good good spray up in there and manufacturers often do this with this anyway so the more you've got in your sighted door the the mirror really obviously you don't want it dripping down your bumper you got so much but you know it's good stuff help you look after your van
Right, so the next step is going to be sticking the, sticking the gasket to the back plate. So find out which way, work out which way round it goes. It's shaped, so it can only actually go one way. And then remove the sticky part from the gasket and then you can stick it on. So the inner shape plate, if we just show you the, the direction that's going to be, inside the door it's actually going to go like that. So what you, you don't actually, actually have to take this latch mechanism out, you're looking to pass this inside the door in there and then in that angle it wants to stay, go behind the plate. So again, so just, just unclipping the cable from, from these clips to allow a bit more movement to get the plate in there. Danny is having a little bit of a fiddle as he's getting it, getting it through there, just with the, just with the cables in place of the outer door handle. I mean, you could disconnect the cables on the handle, but it's it's not necessary. With a bit of a wiggle, you should be able to get it through there. I just take this opportunity as well to say that if you've got a lock on your back door here, a lock which would have a rod which would come off of the back of the barrel from here and then go up to that, the latch mechanism here, then I would say disconnect this at this point because that is a security vulnerability. I would take the rod away from the barrel and take it off of the latch. If, if, you have to, if this means you have to take the latch out the door, it's actually quite easy to do that. You can do it here with these three, um, three T35 bolts here. Uh, and that but that should come off in my opinion that should come off some of the vans most of the vans don't have one this van doesn't have one I don't know why some do but it is a big security risk by having that there also if yours is actually like a, a work van there's an internal lock unlock button here and I would also but in our case we've, we've uh, we're disconnecting that it's not necessary we want that gone we want the rods gone we want to go for maximum security of course there is a possibility one day in the future if your central locking goes wrong you could have a bit of a problem but most vans don't have this lock and unlock function anyway so it's obviously a very small risk and it's up to you to decide what's most important but i suggest get rid of that lock okay so dan is now holding the the internal plate with one hand and if you've got a, an assistant or a, a friend or someone that can help you you might get them to hold that for you so you can concentrate on lining this up on the outside obviously you don't want to scratch the the outside of the van by putting it in the wrong place through the holes so the internal shield you can see the internal shield coming through the edge of these holes here and then we're going to put on the washers and the nuts so to actually for us to get the nuts and the washers on this we probably need to push that back a little bit inside the inside the, the bodywork in order to get the nuts through it would be a little bit awkward to get them to get them started if uh, if we've got it that far forward you're going internal ones first danny yeah so that's one of the internal nuts and there's another one just a little bit higher it's difficult to see it from inside the door here that's the washer gone on now it's the nut going on no pressure Danny to not drop the, the nut or the washer inside the door here. No one's watching. You're doing very well. So these studs, it's really important not to over tighten them. So you're going to do them up tight enough that you see the, you know, you see the gasket start to, to pull. You don't want to go mad with these or you'll either break them off or you distort the, the bodywork. You, know, you start bending your door around if you do them up too tight. The nuts are lock nuts, so they're not going to come undone. Uh, 
Not anymore. Do this up after. And now to do the ones inside, you could use a spanner, 10 millimeter spanner ra or ratchet spanner for these. Then it's going to go for it with a with a quarter inch drive and 10 millimeter deep socket. And again, then as you start to feel it doing up, you want to keep just keep an eye on it from the outside. You want it to pinch, but not to over tighten it. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty much it, Danny. Yeah, and then next is the top one. So the gas is starting to compress now, just a little bit more, Danny. That looks about it to me. And now just have a look, check over them all. If you want to need to do like a half a turn on one of them, then you can do so. Let's see. I think now that we've done this end up, this this end probably just needs a well, I think just this top corner maybe, just a little bit of a little bit nip this one up. Again, don't go mad with these. You'll damage it if you over tighten it. And I think that looks good. And I think that bottom one. Yeah, we can go maybe just a, a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're getting there now. Basically, um, just something that is important. If you did undo anything on the inside here, if you did undo like the outer door handle or anything like that, we didn't in this installation. Um, Danny did disconnect the internal release just to make it a little bit more easier for him to get his arm in there to do up them them nuts but make sure it's all done back up before you go ahead and close the door up um, otherwise if you disconnect the outside handle and you've kind of got your your area racked off in the inside here you, you're gonna have a big problem getting in to open it up from the inside so that's all back to back to normal now then it's just gonna put a bit more wax oil on with the access holes so these grommets should be quite a tight fit. It's it's nicer if they are a tight fit. It makes them makes them stay in there. And what Danny's doing is he's just using a small screwdriver just to help to push in the, the bit of the grommet on the inside. Lining it up the one side to start with, and then using a little screwdriver to push in the inner inner lip of the of the grommet, whilst putting some pressure on it with his finger. Try not to stab yourself with a with a screwdriver in the finger, of course. I wipe away any of the excess, all the wax oil off from the from the surface now. Now at this point, just test your door open and closes properly. And you can just lock from the remote control just to check your lock and unlock is working correctly from the remote control. Just going to shut the rest of the door up in order to do that. Lock, unlock, lock, electronic deadlock, second press, yeah. Unlock, that's good. Okay, so that looks like a good job then, Danny. Not bad for your first one, hey? And easy peasy. Yeah. Box it back up now, door panel back on. You need to line up these clips. These do all sort of move around a little bit. So you, you want to actually line these up with the clips as you got it, get it on there. Fine, you can just sort of wiggle them around a little bit. And then they do quite, quite a good push. And then lining up the door handle.
and then doing up with the T T30 Torx. So Danny's just testing the internal handle now, but he's doing it in a way by latching off the latch manually, simulating the door closing, and then pulling it, just because he's got a load of racking inside his van and it'd be difficult to reach through from the inside to, to pull that handle to test it. So there we have it, good job Danny, well done. Okay, so that's it, all done. Basically, the van actually, uh, in terms of you using the van, it's just the same as it was before you fitted this plate. So it's, you're not actually using an extra lock by having this plate fitted. You're not actually doing anything different with the van. It's not a, it's not a slam lock, it's not a dead lock, it's, it's a shield. So the shield is just protecting the manufacturer's weak point of the van. That's basically it. The biggest weak point of the van is protecting it. It's there staying on guard, stopping people from pushing the, the hole through that, um, through that thin bit of metal on the on the back of the van and getting into in, into your van to remove contents. Outside shield, inside shield, it can act as a, a repair if you've already had the hole put in your van. It can act as a deterrent if you to stop people putting the hole in your van and it can act as a additional piece of security making it a lot more difficult to break into your van. So this is really important to have it. Get in touch via the website. It's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. We'd like to help to advise you on security of your van. What we normally do is pair this up with, a, with some other security products like the deadlocks we got here to make like a package. We have typically a deadlock on the top. We have the uh, plate, the shield on the bottom. If you're really keen, you can have two locks on the back of the van here. So you can have one low, one high, uh, and then on the side load door, we have similar things. Um, we also have some PIRs and some switches for your alarm system upgrade. So yeah, again, get in touch by the website and let's help you get secure. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it and, uh, and get ordering your plate now. Thanks for watching. Good job, Danny, well done. <laughs> Thank you very much, thanks for watching.